Good morning to everyone, and welcome to the Smithsonian. My name is John Kress, and I am the director of the Smithsonian's Consortium for Understanding and Sustaining a Biodiverse Planet. I would like to welcome everyone to the Smithsonian this morning, whether you are actually here at the National Museum of the American Indian, or whether you're viewing this as a webcast. Uh, this is being webcast live, but it'll also be available on our website uh, for viewing at a later date. And particularly welcome to our symposium, Perspectives on Limits to Growth, Challenges to Building a Sustainable Planet. Two years ago, the Smithsonian launched its first strategic plan in its 165-year history. And in that plan were outlined four grand challenges. These grand challenges, the purpose of them was to advance scholarship at the Smithsonian. The four grand challenges are valuing world cultures, understanding the American experience, unlocking the mysteries of the universe, and understanding and sustaining a biodiverse planet. The goal of the four Smithsonian consortia, which parallel these grand challenges, is to increase our interdisciplinary scholarship and intellectual change across the institution as well as outside the institution. This symposium is an effort to reach that goal. Now, plans for this symposium started oh, over a year ago when Dr. Roberto Pecce, who is here and you'll meet in a minute, a professor at UCLA, UCLA and on the executive committee of the Club of Rome, approached uh, his friend, Dr. Eva Pell, our undersecretary for science, and wondered if the Smithsonian would be interested in co-sponsoring a celebration of 40 years after the original publication of the monumental book, Limits to Growth. Uh, Dr. Pell agreed, and here we are all today. This conference, though, does not mark the first time that the Club of Rome and the Smithsonian have teamed up. The first time was in that night was in 1972 when Limits to Growth was first published, uh, and the Club of Rome and the Smithsonian hosted a similar symposium, although a much smaller venue at that point. Uh, the second time was 10 years later, in 1982, with the decadal publication of the limits to growth. And now, in 2012, we are celebrating 40 years since the original publication. This project that produced, or the project that produced limits to growth, was initiated originally in the early 1970s at the Sloan School of Management at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The project, under the direction of Dennis Meadows, who you also hear from in a minute, was the first at that point, 40 years ago, to actually combine system dynamics theory and computer modeling. Think about that. Computer modeling was used 40 years ago, and what we can do today with computer modeling, modeling is fantastic. This limits to growth, or this project, introduced a new perspective on the consequences of increasing population growth, of the overuse of natural resources, and the ever-expanding global economy. Now, I must admit, I looked back into the history through some uh, newspaper articles here in Washington, D.C., and found out that, indeed, that initial release of the book in 1972 engendered a tremendous amount of dialogue and introspection by not only economists, but by politicians, sociologists, scientists, and even governments. The Club of Rome was, uh, the, the report by the Club of Rome was dismissed by some critics at the time who condemned this analysis, this computer modeling analysis, as simplistic and also ignoring many variables that would factor into the analysis. In fact, an article in the Washington Post noted that the authors were, quote, dismissed by a lot of people as crackpots. I don't know if you remember that, Dennis. Uh, however, Roberto's fa father, Aurelio Pecce, who was the founder of the Club of Rome at that time, at that 1982 decadal report, said that the survival of the planet was still in jeopardy. And I quote, the air and water are getting fouler, the deserts are advancing, species are being mercilessly eliminated and decimated. Now after 40 years, can we say that things have gotten better, have gotten worse, or are still the same? Was limits to growth prophetic or was it too simplistic? Today our speakers will address this question from a number of perspectives and explore the challenges to building a sustainable planet. I am looking to hearing all their thoughts on this topic. But before we begin, I would like to introduce several people who are particularly interested in this and are particularly interested in having the Smithsonian as this venue. I would like to uh, first introduce Dr. G. Wayne Clough, the Secretary of the Smithsonian. 
Thank you.